Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a video on my feelings about becoming an ICU nurse. Um, I'm doing these types of videos because I really want to document going into my ICU position and how I was before I started and how I'm going to be after one month, two months, six months, a year, two years, however long I'm an ICU nurse for. So I wanted to document some of my feelings of how I'm feeling now before I even start the ICU job and document where I'm at. So basically I think the number one thing I'm most afraid of is not knowing something, which I, I've i always been afraid of that, and I think a lot of us are, and I was when I started med surge, and I'm just afraid of like not knowing something to where I miss it, and it affects my patient. There's so many things that, as I've been a med surge nurse, I've realized like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, I wonder how many other things I don't know that I've missed that could have potentially been dangerous, but they haven't been in the past. But now that I'm gonna be an ICU nurse, I'm more scared because it's like, the patient are more critical and any little minor thing can really make a big difference in their care. I'm also more, I don't want to say scared, but just nervous, anxious about all of the technology that they're going to have. Since I'm at a rural hospital, we don't have a lot of the updated new technology. And like, for example, we just got off of doing paper orders like we used to have to bring the chart to the doctor get a paper order written and then it had to get entered by like the pharmacist or the unit secretary and now the doctors enters the orders via the um, charting system which is wonderful but like that just goes to show like how much we have been lacking being in a rural hospital and the hospital I'm going to has so many updated resources and technology and I'm excited for it but it's also a little bit like nerve wracking because it's just like it's going to be so much to learn. I'm also scared that um, coming from a rural hospital our policies weren't necessarily the most updated. We weren't most updated on um, research-based, evidence-based practices. Some of it, yes, but some things we were slowly, we're like the last to adapt these new practices because we're in such a small area and, you know, we're not like this huge prestigious hospital. And where I'm going to is a very big hospital and they are evidence-based and things are up to date there. And so I'm scared that I'm gonna like do something and someone's gonna be like, well, why are you doing it like that? And I'm like, well, that's how I was taught. Like that was what I knew. And you know, that I guess that happens like no matter where you go and every nurse has their own um, routines and habits and I'll just have to get up to date on the new policies and new technologies and all that but I'm it's definitely kind of scary and nerve-wracking knowing that there's gonna be things like that I'm not updated on I'm not updated on the best practices but of course no matter how nervous or scared I am I am super super excited I know I'm gonna learn so much I'm such a motivated and like willing to learn person and I know like even now I look up stuff every single day I'm reading stuff every single day on new diagnoses and procedures and medications and I'm gonna continue that even to the next level in ICU because I have to I have to be an educated nurse for my patients and I want to be that nurse for my patients. So yeah, those are some of my feelings going into becoming an ICU nurse. And of course, I will be updating everyone and doing lots of videos relating to how my experience is and how it's going and all those firsts and wonderful things. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that way you can stay up to date on all these videos. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.